Hello, 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 and welcome. My name is Raymond Aaron, New York Times top 10 bestselling author. I've been a professional speaker for almost four decades. I'm a serial entrepreneur and adventurer, but right now I have been promoted to be introducer. Indeed, I'm introducing a dear friend of mine, Jack Canfield. He is the co-creator of the entire Chicken Soup for the Soul series of books. He has written other books outside of that series, notably Success Principles, and he was one of the stars of the movie The Secret, and he's a dear, wonderful, honest, genuine friend of mine. And here you are, Jack. Thank you for joining me, and a lot of people are on the line excited, and now I understand that you're gonna go into another presentation on an interesting topic that you and I have started together working on, so let's delve into that right now. I'd love to do that. So what I want to talk about is how to create both better health and abundance through the use of essential oils. And I am very, very excited about this today. I'm going to be sharing with you how to radically improve your health, strengthen your immune system, improve your emotional well-being, reduce stress, reduce pain, increase your levels of inner peace and joy, and realize your full potential. And at the same time, I want to introduce you to an amazing income opportunity for building a profitable and sustainable business that can lead to true financial security. So stick with me. This is going to be very, very valuable. Now, I'm going to start by sharing my story with you. How did I get involved with this? I was over in India during the whole month of February in 2020, and I was having a great time there working with a doctor on a longevity program for myself, detoxing. My wife and I were getting massages and steam baths and herbal treatments and all this kind of stuff for the better part of the month. And around the third week into it, there was a little announcement from Wuhan, China, that something called the coronavirus had started, this COVID-19 thing. And we were supposed to fly home through Hong Kong, and I decided, I don't think we're going to do that. We switched our flight through Lufthansa, through Germany, and we came home. And came home to what I thought would be a very safe situation, but turned out not so much. And all of a sudden, our business was thrown into a tizzy. First of all, I was very interested in how am I going to stay safe? I'm in this, um, what they call the high risk group. I was a little overweight still. I lost 19 pounds when I was in India, but I was still probably about 10 or 15 pounds overweight. I was 75 years old. I was very concerned about my immunity. And so I wanted to find ways to heighten my immune system, strengthen my immune system so that even if I did get COVID-19, my body would fight it off. I'd be one of those people that never knew he even had it. And I also started, you know, doing all the things you're supposed to do to avoid getting it. But the main thing was strengthen my immune system. And the second thing that happened, COVID-19 lockdown occurred. And all of a sudden, we have to pivot this business because we've got all of these um, trainings we would have to give the um, – deposits back. We had to figure out how we're we going to do this online. How are we going to keep people here? How are we going to develop new programs that we don't have to, to market into the summer and into the fall? So all of a sudden, we're pivoting and we're worried about concerns about our staff. I was, I was for a while, I thought, what, what happens? We, we got a, uh, one of these loan, paycheck protection program loans from the government. That was going to get us to keep our staff through July, but then what about after that? What if this thing didn't turn around? We didn't know where we were then. This was like March at that point. And so what happens is I figured I got to find another income stream for our company. One of the things that most successful people teach is multiple streams of income. So I get book royalties. I have royalties off of stocks and bonds. I have income from my company, from the talks I do, et cetera. And also, but it seemed like this one wasn't going to be enough for the company. And so I'm also looking for what can I do to make sure that my staff is going to have a replacement of their income if we have to cut everyone's salary by 20%, which I had done back in, I think it was 2003, something like that. The first, no, it was 1993, the first Gulf War. I had fewer staff, but we had to cut everyone's salary, including mine and Patty's, my, my, my co-president at the time, down about 20% of what, 80% of what they were getting before. And so I thought, I've, I've got to find a way to do that. And so these two things, kind of convened or converged together. And then what happened was I remembered that when I do these retreats, which I do four times a year, usually at these luxury retreats, and one of the people that attended one of those retreats was a woman named Catherine Tristane. That was back in October of 2019. And Catherine was into something called essential oils. And every time we'd be about to start an exercise, <laughs> Catherine would say, wait, there's an oil for that. And I'm going, what? 
And so we're about to do a life purpose exercise. And she said, well, there's an oil called greater purpose, or there's an oil called clarity, or there's an oil called valor. So you have more courage to really step up and own, own what you want in your life. And so I'm thinking, okay, there's only 24 people in the retreat. What the heck? Let's do it. And so we would take these oils, we rub them on our hands and we would inhale them like this. And after a few minutes, everyone was feeling more powerful. When we did the exercises, they went deeper, they went there faster, they had greater breakthroughs, and these breakthroughs seems to have manifested and stayed longer for people. So I'm very excited about this. And, you know, like most people, you get excited and you forget about it. So we were using highest potential for, you know, getting our clarity, valor for being courage. If people were nervous about making a presentation about what they wanted to achieve in life, she had them do peace and calming. If they couldn't sleep, she'd have them do stress away. And if they, in the afternoon, we had a diffuser in the room, which basically is something that vibrates at a very fast level and sends out, you put water and oil together and it sends out a mist. And these little droplets of, of oil are in there and they actually wake you up. Peppermint is a stimulant in a sense. It opens up the, um, the, um, the blood vessels, get more oxygen moves through, the brain gets more oxygen. I used to eat a snack every day at four o'clock. You know, I'd have to go into the house, I'd end up eating nuts or figs or dates or something like that. One of the reasons I had put on a lot of weight. Once I started using peppermint in the afternoon, I realized that I wasn't hungry anymore. I didn't need to take this snack anymore. And so I was getting the energy I needed from the oil. Anyway, she's introducing us to all these oils and I'm, I'm very intrigued at this point. And like a lot of things that happen when you learn something new, you get all excited about it. And then you go back to your real life where you're not in the training room anymore and the world starts to intervene. I kind of forgot about essential oils. And so basically what happened is now I'm wanting to know about immunity and there's this oil that they have called thieves and thieves is antibacterial antimicrobial microbial antivirus uh antifungal and what it, the name comes from these thieves back in the pandemic i think it was in the 1500s in europe all they killed a third of the world's population what happened was there were these thieves they were grave robbers basically and they were digging up these bodies because often they would put a coin with the person when they buried them or they would have a ring on that they still had and they would steal this and these thieves never got sick everyone was dying you know a third of the world's population but the thieves never got sick and so when they were arrested and they were never dying the, the king who wanted to live said bring them here I want to find out what's going on because I want to live. And so what happens is he discovered that they had this blend of oils that they were putting on their body. I think they called it the Marseille vinegar at the time because this was in France. And what happens was, I think I have a slide of what's in here. I do. Do I? No, we'll come back to that. So let me go backwards for a minute. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. It doesn't matter. So thieves, there was a study that showed that 99% of, of airborne virus things were, sh were killed by this thieves. Well, that's pretty amazing. So I said, I want that. So now I'm getting re-involved with this organization, getting a, a starter kit, which I'm showing you here. And uh, there's a product they call called Inner Defense, which also has the thieves blend, which is cloves and uh, lemon and cinnamon bark and eucalyptus, which opens up the breathing. Uh, that's why you often, you know, you have an inhaler that has eucalyptus in it. And, and then also rosemary, which is an antibacterial. So basically I started taking that to, and I still very, very healthy. I don't know, what, we'll see what happens, I hope so. I'm not worried about coronavirus because I feel my immune system is so strong right now. So anyway, I ordered this starter kit and you can see here there was a diffuser that's that thing that looks like a, nuclear power plant on the left. And it uh, basically, right now I have one on in my room. It's throwing out these, these uh, essential oils. Also, there's a line called Thieves, which I mentioned, but they have cleaning products as well, which you see on the left side of your screen. They have a hand sanitizer, which is one of the uh, healthier ones. It doesn't hurt your skin as much as most of the ones that are out there. On the right, you see something called Ningxia, which is a, a, a drink made from goji berries or wolf berries, or called both of those things. And, and, and Raymond and I know this Qigong master called Chunyi Lim, who about 10 years ago turned me on to goji berries. And I was putting them in my blender drink every morning. And he told a story about this Chinese uh, man was driving through the countryside and he sees this uh, younger woman beating this old man. And he figures, this is not right. Younger people shouldn't beat older people with a stick. And she's chasing him around this field. So he gets out of the car 
And he says, Long, long lady, is that your father? You're beating up your father? He says, that, No, that's my son. And I've been telling him he needs to eat goji berries for years. Now, whether that story is true or not, I don't know, but it's very apocryphal in the sense of goji berries keep you youthful. Uh, they, one of my staff, Alice, started doing Ningxia. She's been a couple cups of coffee every day person her whole life. And after a month on Ningxia, she stopped drinking coffee. She found out she does two ounces of Ningxia in the morning and there's no desire to drink coffee anymore. And Ningxia is healthy for you, caffeine not so much. So anyway, I got, a, I got one of these starter kits and started using the oils and I started drinking the Ningxia. And as you can see here, it, it, it's amazing what it does. It supports your eyesight, supports heart function. My wife had um, AFib where her heart would just start to beat fast. When we went to India, we came back, she still had it. And after about a month of being on Ningxia, she said to me the other day, you know, I don't have AFib anymore. I don't know what it's attributable to, but I think it's these Young Living products we're taking. And then I found this slide that says supports heart function. So who knows, that may be why. Helps maintain healthy cholesterol levels, has a low glycemic index. So if you're diabetic, this is great for you. Stabilizes your blood sugar actually. Uh, protects your liver, reduces absent-mindedness. Uh, supports the immune system, alleviates occasional nervous irritability, which has been great for my wife. It's great for me because of that. Uh, it's high in beta carotene, which is one of the reasons it helps your eyesight. Vitamin E, B, it's an antioxidant, slows the aging process. The, the Ningxia uh, berries, the goji berries, the wolf berries, actually have about the highest uh, antioxidant rate, you know, 10 times more than anything else, blueberries, etc. Uh, it's amazing. I did some research on it. Promotes sexual vigor and performance. I'm not going to brag, but my sex life has improved since we started Young Living. So if that's an issue for people, I really encourage you to, to check it out. And I'm not kidding. My wife is much happier. Being 75 supports the reproductive system. So if you're having trouble getting pregnant, there are a lot of people who were uh, not getting pregnant, who got into Young Living and were able to um, have babies. Reduces hot flashes, promotes bowel regularity. Anyway, you get the idea. There's a lot of benefits from this product. And basically you just drink two ounces in the morning, two ounces in the afternoon, or what I do, I can, you can still see the screen up here. I have a bottle where we put two ounces of Ningxia, fill the rest with water one drop of lime and two drops of something called sulfurzyme, which has MSM, which is good for the joints in it. And I sip on that throughout the day. So that's how I get my four ounces. Uh, the other thing that happened was when this first started, spring was coming, April, and I live in Southern California. So the flowers were all happening and I was starting to get an allergic reaction to all the pollen. And uh, one of the people that was in this organization before me said, just take a couple drops of lavender, a couple drops of lemon, a couple drops of peppermint, put it into a little capsule. Like I just took a vitamin C capsule, uh, you know, the, the gel cap, and I separated it, poured the vitamin C into a glass of water and drank it. And then I put these drops in there and swallowed it. Within an hour, my allergic reaction, the, the eyes watering, all that disappeared. And so all of a sudden I'm like, whoa. And it hasn't come back. And I, I only did that once. So I, don't, now I do put lavender on my feet every night. I do peppermint in the afternoon, like I said, and I put lemon in water sometimes during the day, which energizes the water. So who knows? Uh, but I can tell you a lot of people do this, or there wouldn't be a slide like this, which I found on the internet. So many people are, are using it like that. So now I buy a book called The Essential Oil Truth by Jen O'Sullivan, and I start really studying essential oils, because I was totally unaware of this stuff. I thought it was something, if you went to a spa, they gave you a choice about what essential oil you want in your massage, want to wake you up, want to put you to sleep. I had no more awareness than that. And so basically I started studying, and this is the thing that blew me away. The human body has a hundred trillion cells. Essential oils are composed of around 40 million, 40 million trillion molecules per single drop. Now, my mind can't even get my head around it. First of all, what's a trillion? What's 40 million trillion? That's in insane. One drop of essential oil. I mean, we're talking about like when a raindrop lands on your car window, it's smaller than that usually. And it's got 40 million trillion molecules. And you only have 100 trillion cells in your body. So what happens? One drop of essential oil is less than 300 Daltons in, ato in atomic mass units in weight. What does that mean? It means the molecules are really, 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 really small. 
And to get across the brain blood barrier into your brain, molecules need to be 400 Daltons or less, which is why a lot of things, even like chemotherapy for brain uh, tumors, doesn't work that well because the, 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 the medicine can't get into the brain. Now, the brain's designed to protect you that way. But because every essential oil is under 400, most of them under 300 Daltons, what happens is they go into the brain. So the minute you inhale, you, act, you take the oil, put a drop on your hand, rub it a few times, inhale it a few times. Within 20 seconds, it's in your brain because the, the olfactory nerve goes straight into the brain, past the amygdala where fear lives, into the hippocampus where memories live. And that's why it's so valuable to use in therapy, which is what I'm going to talk about in just a minute. But if you were to place a pe drop of peppermint oil on the bottom of your feet in 20 minutes, your entire body is infiltrated with 40 million trillion molecules of this essential oil. Wow. In effect, that brings 400,000 molecules to each cell. Again, that, that, how do you even, I took biology in Harvard, at Harvard with a guy who won a Nobel Prize for biology. And I don't know that we would have even understood it then. But the point is, it gets everywhere very quickly and has, that's why it's so fast. People will put something called deep relief, which is a blend of essential oils on their temples. And within minutes, within hours, sometimes their headache will either lessen or disappear. Um, I just learned a couple of days ago, if you take peppermint and you rub it on the back of your neck when you're having a hot flash, the hot flashes often disappear very quickly. So I just told a few women about that. I'm waiting for them to report back. But the point is, this is amazing stuff. So I, I started to get really crazy about it. And then I met this guy named Dr. Ben Perkis when I was doing my research. He wrote a book called The Aroma Freedom Technique, Using Essential Oils to Transform Your Emotions and Realize Your Heart's Desire. And he started using essential oils to help people go back and discover a limiting belief that was formed in childhood that was stopping you from achieving success in life. Now, I had been using a similar technique developed by a woman named Elise Janelle. And I, in many trainings, use similar techniques. And what happens when you add the oils to this process of going back, it goes back much, much faster. So we had him on a call and he took a bunch of our staff through this process. I had a major breakthrough with my, my stepfather, who's dead, but my relationship to him, because I was still kind of angry about some things. And it healed a very difficult interaction we had when I was a teenager, when I stood up to him. And uh, in, in, the, in the remembering of it, what happened is I, he went to hit me because I was being you know, rebellious. And I had just taken a, a judo class. And so I flipped my father in the living room and he did not like it. And my mother said, run, I'll tell you when it's safe to come home. And that was, that was the memory. And I, it took me hours before it was safe to come home. And I was afraid of my dad for weeks. And in this visualization, when we added essential oils to it, my dad came over and hugged me and said, I'm sorry. Now, I have to acknowledge you're becoming a man right now. And I need to step back and stop controlling you and be a friendly mentor to you. That never happened in real life. But that was a major healing inside. My wife, whose father committed suicide when she was eight, she has still been working on issues that come up around that. And what came up for her that day was when her mother told her the day it happened, he shot himself in the heart with a shotgun. And she said to, him, to her, you know, my, my wife, your dad killed himself today. My, my wife didn't cry. The mother didn't do anything to hold her or comfort her. Her older brother and sister weren't there. And she was totally abandoned not only by her father who had killed himself, but by her mother emotionally, who never dealt with it. They never talked about it, literally ever. And the brother and the brother and sister weren't there. So she was like, just went inside and shut down. And it wasn't until we were married about 20 years ago, when she woke up one morning screaming, daddy, daddy, don't do it. And she felt safe enough to, to let this resurface. But now she had a major healing in regard to this with these oils. So now I became even more intrigued in how do we use these oils and the power they have for healing, both psychologically and emotionally. As I said, we all had major breakthroughs that day that were on the call. And there's my wife, Inga, who I just talked about. Now, the thing about the oils, they all have frequencies. Everything in the universe has a frequency. That's why if you study the law of attraction, you know, the higher your frequency, the more you attract wealth, abundance, joy, you know, the level that you're, you're thinking at and feeling at is what you're going to attract more of into your life. And notice 320 megahertz, this is rose, the highest frequency of any of these oils. 
And meditation takes you to 118 positive thoughts, only to 72 or 78. You take rose, which takes thousands of rose petals to make one little bottle, five milliliters, I think, of essential oil. You rub it on your heart, and it opens up this amazing love feeling. Yesterday, my wife and I, we had a lovemaking session. And before we started, we took essential oil rose. We rubbed it on our hearts. And within minutes, we had this most romantic kind of feeling for each other. You know, this is why we give roses on Valentine's Day, why roses are the quintessential aspect of love, et cetera. So this has been great for that. It's also in a, a, a blend called Joy, which is actually a little cheaper than Rose. Rose is one of the more se expensive essential oils. And you can rub that on your heart. And I do that every morning as part of my perfect day protocol, you might call. So let's look at this vibration thing for a minute. When you're at 57, which is a low vibration, which means you're having negative thoughts, notice here, 56 to 50 negative thoughts. When you get down to 57, flu invades your body. That's, you're, you're now a candidate for this thing we're all trying to avoid. And what happens is when you have positive thoughts, this is why positive thinking, listening to podcasts like this, you know, seminars and things like that, listening to uplifting people, reading uplifting books, meditating, doing affirmations, et cetera. Then you get up to meditation. You're at 83 to 77. The frequency of lavender oil is 118, which is higher than all of that. Lavender is one of the most uh, ubiquitous oils and one of the cheaper oils to get. I rub it on my feet every night before I go to bed. And then the frequency of, of frankincense, 147. Living rose, we just talked about 320. So when you use these oils, you are bringing yourself into a higher vibration, increasing your immune system, increasing your feelings, getting out of fear into love and so forth. It's really quite astounding how these oils work, what I've been learning about them. And again, you see Rose being the highest one up there. Look at these, each of these oils and their megahertz and 62 megahertz or stronger, get, you start getting a strong immune system. You wanna get up into the 118 with lavender and then you have geranium, thieves, all these oils are amazing. Idaho blue spruce, helping people sleep through the night. Very, very incredible what you can do. All right, so just again, I just want you to get the research behind this. There's been research at universities, research by the Young Living Scientists, me researching now, reading all the books on this, and there's a ton of stuff. Now, this is a man named Robert J. Moore. Robert Moore is a motivational speaker. He's a multiple book author, et cetera. He's done a whole bunch of things at a Guinness Book World Record. And I had heard of him, but didn't know much about him. But one of the people in uh, my organization told me about him. He, and I actually talked to him later about this. He came down with COVID-19. He actually caught the, the, the pandemic virus. And he said it was like feeling like he couldn't breathe. He said it felt like it was a ton, you know, two ton elephant sitting on his chest, fighting for a breath from the nose all the way down into the lungs, like working so hard and painful, 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 painful. And then one of the people in the organization that's under me that I had introduced to this uh, said to him, you need to get a starter kit and get thieves and a, and a diffuser and start diffusing thieves in your office. So he started diffusing thieves. And all of a sudden, after a day or two, his breathing started to really get easier. He started to clear up. And he claims that this is what got him out of that terrible symptomatic. He said he was literally hospital bound. He went to the hospital once. They said, you're not sick enough. Uh, he felt like he was sick enough. Very painful. But this was the first example of someone where I saw that this has a really powerful immune boosting um, capability, especially with the respiratory system, uh, which this is a, uh, um, they put it in a, you know, causes like it's close to the pneumonia kind of thing that happens with, with the pandemic. And this is a, the uh, Aria diffuser that he used to just put this into the, uh, into the air and breathe it. Mentioned it has cloves, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. We talked about the thieves epidemic where a third of the world's population died, but this was the uh, herbs uh, the, and the oils, rather, that uh, people were using to keep themselves healthy at that time. Now, this is a guy named Akshay Nanavate, who is an Iraqi war veteran who had PTSD. He took a workshop with me a number of years ago, and I was it was going to be the last workshop I ever led. And he said, I want to, um, uh, you can't stop doing this workshop. I said, why not? He said, I was suicidal. I came to this workshop. Someone said it would help me not want to commit suicide. I don't want to commit suicide anymore. But I have brothers in arms who are committing suicide at the rate of many a day, many a day. And he said, this, this would help. 
And so I remembered that and I kept doing the workshops. And when I found out about uh, something called the Freedom Kit, which I'll explain in a minute, which helps people deal with PTSD, helps lessen the symptoms and all, you know, the, the night terrors and the waking up angry and the outbursts and you know, hearing sounds and freaking out, all that stuff. Uh, I called him and I said, Akshay, this is something can actually help people with PTSD. I want to enroll you. And you said you cared about your brothers in arms and I'd like you to help me enroll them. And so he did. He, he said he'd had struggles with moderation, meaning he was an alcohol and drug addict before this. He didn't know who he was anymore. He had survivor's guilt. Why didn't I die when my brothers died over in Iraq? And he came back, he started an online program called Suffering as a Training Ground for Self-Transcendence. He talks about the science of turning fear into health, wealth, and happiness. And he's written a book called Fear Vana. And there's this Freedom Kit, which includes two kits. One's Freedom Sleep, one's Freedom Release. And it's a two-month protocol that really, really helps. And we talked to several uh, veterans of different wars, the Iraq War. One guy who'd been in the Fallujah jail for a week, uh, really traumatized. And he and his wife were both soldiers. He got on this and his PTSD uh, disappeared. He wrote a book about it. And so I was, got very, very uh, excited about this and enrolled Akshay. Now, why do I show you this slide? Sharing the love one drop at a time. This is really what this organization is about. All of these oils have impact on your body, on your emotions, on your wellness, on your health, on your peace and calm. Uh, there is some, one called peace and calming. You can see it in the middle here with the green label. And what happens is with our dog, we have a dog that's very skittish. It's a rescue dog. It was obviously not treated very well at some point in his life. And he's great when there's no other people around. But if there's a car comes up the driveway, or if we're going out in our car and taking him with us, or if the groomer comes, we have a groomer that comes to our house and he goes out to their van, they groom, he gets nervous, starts to shake. Now we take peace and calming, just put a drop on our hand, rub it around, they call it activating it. I guess it kind of wakes it up a little bit. I'm not quite sure exactly what that is yet. I'm still studying it. But then we'll pet him a few times on the back. And what happens is he calms down and then he's not shaking anymore. That's mind boggling. I mean, it's a big deal. If you've got a child who's nervous, doesn't want to go to bed at night, you know, a little bit of peace and calming and calm right down. If you have a child that you know, has difficult studying, uh, Cedarwood is another uh, essential oil that one of my staff found helps her son uh, be able to study. So think about this, since the COVID pandemic started, our lives have changed dramatically. We all have more questions about our future. We have more anxieties. We have more complexities in our, in our world. We don't know what's going on. 67% of people, according to a recent study just released by CNN, report higher levels of stress. 57% say they have greater anxiety and 54% say they're emotionally exhausted. We hear about, uh, what do you call it? Uh, quarantine fatigue. We hear about the frontline workers. We've already had doctors commit suicide because they're so stressed out. The nurses, the EMT drivers that are just, you know, worried about bringing home the COVID to their families and so forth. So a huge amount of stress. And depression and anxiety and insomnia on the rise. Uh, prescription treatment for these conditions increased 25% between February 16th and March 15th. Anti-anxiety Prescriptions are up 37% and 78% of all antidepressant, anti-anxiety and anti-insomnia prescriptions filled during the final week of March. This was the, were brand new prescriptions, brand new prescriptions, 78%, which means people are extremely stressed out and are turning to pharmaceuticals to reduce that stress, which have side effects, many of which are not all that great. So I'm just saying there is a large group of people out there who need what these oils do. So when we talk about this, not just as a service that we're doing to provide people with something that's healthy and that doesn't have all the side effects of other things, there is a huge market, if you will, if you're interested in the business opportunity, which we're gonna talk about in a few minutes. So we now know that there, there's people saying, doctors saying, we're gonna have an epidemic of clinical depression in our healthcare system. It's not ready for that. And we have isolation, people are freaking out. We have women that are being battered more because they're, they can't get away from their husbands who are sequestering at home. We used to go to work during the day. They're drinking more. There's uncertainty about the future. There's grief because a lot of people have lost loved ones. There's a lack of money, 40. I think 25% of the American workforce who did have jobs are now unemployed. There's been canceled weddings, canceled graduations, summer vacations that are not happening, family reunions are not happening, athletic events that are not happening. I just read today as we're recording this, uh, that basically we have canceled the um, Oscars. 
the Olympics were canceled. All these things happening that we're not, we're not going to be able to experience. Beaches are closed, pools are closed, parks are closed, schools may be closed. So literally, there's, there's a huge need for these oils that we have, both for you and, and as a business opportunity. Now, the other thing that came into my awareness as I started researching this and looking at this as a potential business opportunity for me and my company, I've signed up all 12 of my staff underneath me in essential oils with Young Living, and we're all making significant increases in our income just in a, a two and a half month period. And what's happening is, in that process, one of the education calls we had was with this guy, Richard Bliss Brook, who wrote a book called The Four Year Career. And what he was saying in this book is, if you make this a serious thing you focus on for four years, you can have enough income to actually retire on it. Now, not everyone does that. Not everyone chooses to work that intensely. I'm choosing to work that intensely. I put in about two hours a day. The rest of the day, I have to do my business, which is my company. There are other people that are working 30 minutes a day. Some people don't work every day. Some people are just sharing it with their friends. And we'll talk about that as well in a minute. But think about this. He said, build it once and get paid forever. This is what's called a legacy asset income opportunity. Once you build an organization where you have people under you that are using the product, and think about this, 95% of the people that get involved in Young Living become consumers, 95%. They don't sell the product, they're not distributors, which is a good news because it means this is not a pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are where what happens is people sign up and they only make money if they get other people to sign up, who get people to sign up, who get people to sign up forever. This is not that case. Many people that you will sign up if you choose to do this will become what we call business builders and will build the business and sign up lots of people. I know people that have signed up 90 people in six weeks, four weeks. I know people that have signed up 150 people in, in two months. And so in my organization, is, you know, right now I have about 858 people and that's the result of two and a half months of serious focus. And so the reality is you build it once and it, you continue to make money off the people who buy these products because they are products they buy over and over. There are products which we'll get to which are for cleaning, there's food products and so forth. But the main thing are these oils, which people get, I would say addicted to, if you will, in the sense that they're so powerful, they have such great benefits. But once you build it, you continue to get paid on these people for as long as they're buying products, which for most people is forever. And 40% of the people in this company are on what's called auto ship, meaning they have elected every month to have an automatic shipment of at least $100 or more worth of products because they're so good. Just this Ningxia, which I drink every day, a month's supply of that, cost me that. That's my order I do, plus some other things I want. So anyway, build it once, get paid forever. And once you build this organization, you own it. You can actually sell it to someone else. It can put, be put in your will. Pretty amazing. Where else can you build a business starting with just yourself and a very small investment of maybe $100 or more? So we'll talk about that. Richard Brook went on to talk about most people live their life by the 40-40-40 plan. They work for 40 hours a week for 40 years and retire on 40% of what was never enough in the first place. And I love that concept. And it's really true. You know, the average American retires with $25,000 net worth after working for 40 years, putting in 40 or more hours a week. That's really sad. And this is a business that you can build. I'm going to give you 10 reasons why you might want to think about this. Number one, you can build it part time. As I said, I work a couple hours a day on this and that's it. You know, one of my staff has made a commitment to enroll two people a day. They do that usually by nine o'clock and then they're done for the rest of the day. They're working on the Campfield Training Group. Uh, one of my staff does this at night. Some of them do it on the weekends. There are people that don't work every day. But if you put 30 minutes a day into just sharing the opportunity with people, maybe talking to people underneath you, supporting and encouraging them, et cetera, you can build a business. You can build it from anywhere. You have a computer, a smartphone, or a tablet, or a laptop. Literally, I go into my computer, everything's there. I don't have to do anything. They have this thing called a back office, which has so much data and easily accessible data that it, it'll, it'll blow your mind. Number two, or three rather, you can launch this for a few hundred dollars. For 135 US, 240 Canadian, and whatever the exchange rates are around the world, you can buy a starter kit and get started. And, and I'll tell you a little more about the starter kit in just a moment. And number four, you're a business for yourself. You don't have a boss. You have people that will mentor you, but you're not by yourself. 
Young Living does all the heavy lifting. They, they've developed the products, they have the legal groundwork, the customer service, the data processing, the banking, the sales training, the marketing, the branding, even social media that they support you with. So really, it's kind of a no brainer. And I'll give you a little more about how that works too. You're mentored by millionaires. All the people that are upline of me, people that have enrolled people that have enrolled people that have enrolled me, most of them are millionaires. They've come before you and they've made it work. You're on their team and it's in their best interest to have you succeed. They want you to succeed. They only succeed if you succeed. You're their future. So you've got people that have succeeded showing you exactly how to succeed. They give you support, training, direction. They keep you motivated. They help you set goals. They help you be successful. Pretty awesome when you think about it. You get a tax break. You own your own business. Whether it's a business, however build it, you build big, you keep it small, you're able to do tax deductions. Uh, and your accountant can show you how you can take advantage of all that. Number seven, you can learn it while you earn it. Meaning you could start to get cash flow the very first month that you got enrolled. Uh, most of the people I've enrolled have done that. Uh, literally within the first month, getting bonuses, getting checks, uh, et cetera. It depends if you wanna, how hard you wanna work or how much time you wanna put in when you begin. I love this. Your income keeps paid with inflation because the products which you sell that you get paid for, if the inflation happens, the price of the products go up, which means the, the percentage of the sale that you get goes up as well. So you, you're never going to be a victim of inflation. Number nine, he talked about, this is Richard talking about the wealth building trifecta. I like this. As you earn extra income and you have more income, maybe you just want to earn enough to send your kid to a private school. Maybe you just want to earn enough to be able to take a summer vacation. Maybe you just want to earn enough to be able to pay an extra mortgage payment every month. Maybe you just want to earn enough to be able to, you know, buy a better car. Whatever it is that you want, you can do that. But if you really want to build this as a business and you have this extra money, instead of buying things with it, you can invest in real estate and stocks. Now you have all this other money working for you while you sleep. Multiple sources of income, passive income. And finally, with success, you may travel the world on someone else's dime. What does that mean? Young Living has these incentive trips. When you reach certain levels or certain levels of production, they have these trips where they take you all around the world, sometimes to their farms in Ecuador, in Idaho, in, in Europe. Uh, there's a cruise. I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but they had this cruise that was going to go to Greece where we've opened up some new farms in Italy and Greece. So the reality is they, many of the people that are successful get to go all around the world, other people paying for it with like-minded people that are loving and committed to service like you. This is just an example of the lavender farm that Young Living has in, uh, what does it say there, Montana? There's one in oh, Mose, wow. Idaho. Again, I have pictures over the, the pictures up there. Lavender Farm in Provence, France. This is one of the largest lavender farms in the world. We're one of the, and the purest lavender uh, comes out of these farms. Everything from the seeds we use all the way through the distillation process, the best on the planet. These are all the different farms we have all around the world to get the different uh, essential oils, the different plants that we need to grow. Uh, we get coconut oil from the Philippines. Frankincense from Oman, where we've both been. Now, some important numbers about this company. One owner, what does that mean to you? It means that there's never going to be a fight between two people that's going to make them split the company up. The company's not going to dissolve. A lot of network marketing companies in the past, they dissolved. People had built up a good income, and then the company went bankrupt because the people at the top couldn't agree, or they had a board of directors that wanted to sell the company for a profit, and then they didn't care about you. That's never going to happen. Mary Young, who's the wife of Gary Young, who started the company, is the owner. She's totally committed. She's been offered billions of dollars to buy it, and she's not going to sell it. It's a 25-year-old company. They've been through all the startup problems. They know what they're doing. They're in the top 10 of direct sales companies, of which there are thousands of direct sales companies in the world. It's the only essential oil company that's in the top 10. Two billion in annual sales with six million members. So they're playing at a very high level. They've had a 30% average annual growth for the last 10 years, which means they're growing. Uh, they're opening up five new countries every year. They have 95% are only customers, which is good, meaning that the people keep buying. And it's also not going to ever be in trouble with the FTC as a there's a pyramid scheme because it never was meant to be. It was meant to be a way to get oils into the homes of people. 40% on auto ship. Most companies that are network marketing, 8%. So we're way above that. Ours in my organization that I started is 80% of people on auto ship. And there's 700 amazing products that you can choose from. I think about 500 of those are oils. There's a, a, a line of cosmetics. 
I don't know if you know this, but the average thing on the market, if you go into like um, your local CVS and buy lipstick, there could be as many as 41 carcinogens in that lipstick, which is in your lips, which is right in the mouth. That's why they say, put this under your mouth and you know dissolve this under your tongue because there's so much absorption going into your body right there. So they have all these uh, non-toxic, uh, oil infused, make, make some more bioavailable uh, foods and, and, and um, cleaning products and also makeups and so forth. Cleaning, okay, we have a foundation. So there's a real commitment to ending uh, sex traffic in the world, uh, building schools in the places where we have farms, not taking advantage of third world countries. So you're working with a company that really cares. And these are all the countries we're open in right now. And so more than likely you're, you're in one of them and they're opening five a year. I think we're opening India next year, which I'm really looking forward to because I've been to India a number of times. We have a lot of people over there in India has a huge, huge burgeoning middle class right now because of computers and all that, and a huge desire for this kind of product. These are all the European and non-European countries. So let me share with you something called the Young Living Income Disclosure Statement, which we're required to show you as we give, talk to you about this opportunity. So you see here, the first level is called distributor, and you see that 88% of the people in the company are distributors, as we talked about. Most people just use the products, and they're very happy with them. You move up to star, you've now enrolled some more people under you. And some people do that, you know, in, in a month or two, some people take a little longer. And you see average income 261 a year, highest 2,791. Senior star, you keep moving up these ranks. Now you get up to silver and something pretty much dramatically changes as far as I'm concerned. What happens is the average income per year is now $15,000. That's about a thousand and some a month. That could be significant money. That could be enough to pay for your kids to be in some kind of special programs, go to summer camp, take that family vacation you never took, make payments on a better car than you have. You know, whatever it is that you're wanting just to have a little better lifestyle, that can be it. But notice the highest income, what's possible, not that many people do it, but it's possible, is you could be making $281,000 a year. That's significant income replacement for a lot of people. Gold. Now we're up to here, average is 47, possible 404,000. Platinum, which I've achieved, 117,000 average, 992 highest possible. Now look what happens. Now this doesn't happen for most people for a couple of years, diamond, crown diamond, royal crown diamond. But here the average income is a million and a half a year, three million a year. So that's very significant. Now and over here, you'll notice average months to achieve the rank. Now for average people, you know, it might take them 28 months, two years, a little bit to get to executive. Silver, 38. I've got nine silvers in my organization. Our whole organization's only been involved for about three months. So not suggesting you're gonna do that immediately, but suggesting the possibility exists. And I wanna show you another chart. This is, um, as I said, this is where 38 months normally to become silver. I did that in two months. And then gold, 50 months, that would be four years. Again, I did that in two months. And then platinum, which is now with this income level here, did that in three months. So here's the deal. Again, I'm serious about this and you can be serious too, but I'm just giving you possibilities of what's possible if you want to play. I want to just share with you, and this is the goal I have for this year. And then diamond within a year. Of that okay so look look at this this is what we call the path to silver and it's an easy way to earn some serious money very quickly if you hit star within two months which means you have two legs two groups of people so i sign up one person i sign up another person and they each sign up two people now they get a 50 dollar bonus now we go to senior star you get sign up a few more people you get three months to do that you get a $250 bonus in addition to whatever your commission is. If you get another three months to hit executive, you get 500 and another four months to hit silver. I had a woman who signed up under me. I did not know this about her. I knew she was a student of mine, but she literally had started the business. COVID-19 happened and it totally wiped out her business, totally wiped it out. And so she signed up to do the Young Living Opportunity. And within two months, she got to silver and she said it saved her life. She got these bonuses, which add up to what? $2,300.
and allowed her to say to the state, I don't need your food stamps. And she said, I got my dignity back. I had the money I needed to pay my mortgage and to pay for food. And now she's at silver and she's doing very well, making you know several thousand dollars a month. So this is what's possible again. And the, and the, the company bonuses you to support you to get there and shows you how to do it. And your upline mentors do that as well. I love this thing, Bridge to Gold Qualified, which I achieved. If you get to gold by a certain time, they give you an aroma oil collection worth $2,800. All these oils it would cost you that much to buy, which I just got a notice that they shipped mine today. I can't wait to get them. I have no idea which ones they are. Um, so I'm really excited to experiment with them all because the thing with the oils, you don't know what they do until you do it, until you try it. Uh, you know, it's just, it's fascinating. We did, my wife and I, there's an oil blend called Motivation and we were feeling a little lazy yesterday, but we knew we wanted to exercise. So we, we took Motivation, we rubbed it on our hands, we smelled it. We went into the room where we have a gym in our house. And for an hour, we were like just going at it. My wife says, slow down, you're going to hurt something on the treadmill. <laughs> so it's really fun to experiment with them. Here's a person, I just want to show you one person that actually got to Royal Crown Diamond in her path, where she signed up, and you'll notice up here, first month she signed up seven people, her royalty check for that month was $392. And uh, by five months later, she hit gold, and her royalty payments were, uh, commission was 4824 And then she hits platinum, eight months into it, and you see the, the, the commission start to go up. And then she eventually down here, you'll notice the business members that she had. So she enrolls nine people, three of them decide to build a business. She enrolls 27 people the next month, 11 people are now actually selling it to other people. So in each month, notice she didn't enroll like hundreds and hundreds of people. These are the total enrollments for each month that she did. And these were the number of business builders. So now she has an organization, let's say of 1400 people, only 345 of them, usually about 25% are doing the business, but she's now making significant income. And in 21 months, she got down to Royal Crown where her income per month was $100,000. So this is, I'm not saying everyone does this. I'm just saying it's possible. I want you to be inspired to do it. No, I'm going the wrong direction with my slides here. This is called repetition is the key to all learning because we go through them one more time. Okay, so again, I got this little email last month. Congratulations, you're a platinum. My staff actually made a little slide for me, platinum in the background on one of my slides when I'm presenting. They have all kinds of incentives. Like if you double up, like you sign two people up uh, for the month. If you sign four people up, they send you all these little things. We just got a yoga mat. We got a blanket the other day for a picnic. We got three free oils. Um, they're just, it's just, I just, it's exciting. Here I am a multimillionaire and I still get excited about little prizes. One of the things that's a, a, a level up for this month is an oil uh, case that holds a hundred oils. And every month there's some little prize like that if you do certain things that are quite astounding. You sign up one friend, they sign up four other friends, this person signed up this person, this person decides to be a business builder and all of a sudden you've got these people underneath you that start to take off. I don't know who's going to be a business builder. Sometimes I do and I enroll a friend, but in general, it's been very interesting to watch this organization grow. I want to share with you something about mathematics. I used to do uh, motivational talks for network marketing companies all around the world. A lot of them you would have heard of. And I was just wanting to share with people, this is an old slide I used to use about how fast organizations can grow if you just take the, the concept of doubling. So let's say someone says, this a goal. I want to have 10,000 people in my organization by 5 p.m. July 31st, 2021. That could be a goal that someone sets. And if everybody enrolls two people a month and you duplicate that down line so that you teach two people to enroll two people, they teach them how to enroll two people to enroll two people. In 14 months, you'd have 10,000 people. Now, not everyone does that. We know that. We just saw that on a slide. But think about this. Two times two is four times two is eight. 16, 32, 64, 128. Now that would take you eight months to get there, right? Nine months, you'd be at 512 people. Then the next month, and now the numbers get significant, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, 16, 32, 65,000. We did this in our organization. Six weeks, it took me to get to 256. 10 weeks to get to 841, which is where I am now, 10 weeks actually, today. 
as we're, as we're doing this. And now 48 months to get here, but if the math were to keep up, we'd get to 16,000 in 12 months. And in 14 weeks, if we did it every week, it's just incredible, the potential. I just want you to get how this can grow for you. Now, one of the things we have is to make this easy for you is we have a weekly education call. This is an example where when Richard Risbrook was on and he talked to us, he's a young living diamond, and he talked to us about this four-year career book, which I told you about, and how you can build a business in four years. And I just want to share with you, I bought his book. Here's Rob and Alina Minalto. In just 18 months, they replaced their income and reached a six-figure residual income all before the age of 30. They have 12,000 members and enrolling 500 new members a month. Pretty amazing. Since January 2013, Heather and Wade have grown an organization well over 8,000 members with a six-figure monthly income. So this is just people up in Red Deer, Canada. They have 8,000 members. Their annual sales on their organization, $5 million. Just to share one more with you. Jamie and Chelsea Flamen, after using and loving the products, which naturally followed, they didn't even want to do it as a business, but finally they loved it so much they started sharing with friends. They've got 10,000 members. And it says, after being introduced to Young Living Oils, Chelsea quickly realized what a unique opportunity this was. She found herself telling everyone she knew about the oils, didn't seriously consider doing the business until she received her first oil royalty check. And now they have 500 new members a month coming into their organization. It's just, I just want you to get how powerful this is. It says, we have a product people desperately need at a time when people are seeking healthy alternatives at an unprecedented rate. I love that by empowering others to take care of their health, I get to stay home with my children and help others find financial freedom as well. This is his wife, Kimmy. She was a single mom. She married Miss. Mr. Brooke, Richard Brooke there. And she built a business on her own, on her lunch break, only working on her lunch break. I want you to get this. She had a full-time job working on her lunch break. She built a business, 20,000 people in her organization. And she wrote a book, The Four-Year Career for Women. And these are just some examples of a woman, $740,000 annual income. First year was not actively building yet. Personally enrolled 28 people the next year. Then she enrolled 45, then 55, and look at her now, she's got 55,000 people in her organization. Again, 625,000 people in her organization. 15 people her first year. So I won't bore you with all the statistics here, but here's a woman, just been it for four years, annual income in Australian dollars, 215,000. She enrolled a couple hundred people and grew her organization to 4,000 people. That, that was just two people giving us education about building a business. Here's Jenna Sullivan. Look at all the oils behind her. She is a, she's the one who wrote this book. And she gave us a tremendous education on the oils and what they do. Then we had Haley Jensen on one of our education calls who told us about the thieves line and all the things that they do in terms of, 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 of replacing all the products in your house that have all of these, what we call endocrine disruptors, carcinogens which trait cancer, all these things are in your toothpaste, your, your, your mouthwash, your cleaning supplies, et cetera. We, I mean, literally we got off that call and everyone went and ordered a lot more cleaning products. But what I'm telling you, you don't have to learn all this. We're gonna educate you as you go along. And so you can have a healthy endocrine system, healthy metabolism, healthy antioxidant system, healthy. Um, so this was a statistic that blew me away. According to the CDC, more than 200 high volume synthetic chemicals can be found in the bodies of nearly all Americans, including newborn infants. They take blood from the umbilical cord and they find 150 things, including plastic in the umbilical blood of these babies that are being born. That's how corrupted our, our um, foods are. We had a woman named Lucy Libido who talked to us all about hormones, increasing your libido, increasing performance, increasing intimacy, menopause. She did two years of research on what are the oils that increase the quality of your sex life, that increase libido, that increase intimacy. People had given up on having sex uh, and, and menopause, uh, how to get through that you know, without suffering, all research-based. 
uh, Dr. Oliver Wenker, Dr. Ollie, we call him, who is an expert on CBD from hemp. No THC, just the CBD. And we have these, uh, at the end of our neurons in our body, we have these uh, cells, the, uh, neuron, the synapses. There's something called anandamides. Anandamides is a bliss, uh, it's, it's a chemical in your body that makes you feel bliss. In Sanskrit, Ananda is the word for bliss. There was this famous Indian yoga called Satchit Ananda. And they named this molecule the anandamide because it helps you feel bliss. And when you put CBD on your skin and you do that over the course of a month, your whole body becomes infused with this and it, takes, it keeps you in a very pain-free uh, and very uh, happy state. Uh, and, and, and now this is legal in all the states in America and uh, we sometimes laws in different countries, we have to like go in and make sure they know this is not containing THC. But he wrote a book on this and uh, we got a whole hour and a half education on that recently. The other thing we do is we have weekly opportunity calls where you can bring people that are interested in enrolling where you may not be feeling like you're knowing what to tell them yet. And we do a 45 minute call where we, who are the people that are now like me and myself and, and, and other people that are now doing this successfully, tell you about like the things I've been teaching you here and then they get to enroll under you at the end of the call. So we make it really easy for you. We do that twice a week and some of my people that are in organization doing it even more often than that. So it's very simple. Sometimes I'll go on a radio show or a TV show or a, a summit talk or whatever and I'll be a guest and we'll talk about this. And then here's a woman, uh, Lotus Roche, and we're on her show and afterwards, she signed up a bunch of people under herself and some of the people that are underneath her. And so we support you in that way as well. I won't read you this whole quote, but Tony Robbins did a whole big thing about how network marketing is beautiful and it's really easy to do. Uh, you, you just basically, everything's set up for you. All these people, Warren Buffett said, dollar for dollar, the best investment Bertrand Hathaway ever made was three network marketing companies. Richard Branson, I'm a tremendous believer in network marketing. Jim Rome, network marketing is the greatest resource of grassroots capitalism because it teaches people to take a small bit of capital, which is our time, and build the American dream. Bob Proctor, what you sow is what you reap. It's the law of nature. Network marketing is perfectly aligned with that. You get exactly what you're worth. No nepotism, no favoritism, and that's rare in the business world today, as you all know if you work for a company somewhere. Darren Hardy, who used to be the, the publisher of Success Magazine, wrote the future of employment is self-employment. We now know, you've seen it with the COVID environment, your job is not necessarily secure. And if you can build a business that you can do from home, it becomes recession proof and it becomes something you can build. He says, direct selling is one of the few business opportunities that offers average people with above average ambition to achieve an above average lifestyle, peace of mind and financial security. David Bach, who wrote The Automatic Millionaire, a good friend of mine, he says, you don't need to create a business plan or create a product. You only need to find a reputable company, one that you trust that offers a product or service you believe in and you can get passionate about it. As you can see, I'm passionate about this. Uh, Laura Langemeyer, who's a good friend of Raymond's and mine, says network marketing, also known as direct sales or multi-level marketing, has emerged as a viable moneymaker, giving those willing to leverage their network, the training and products to build solid businesses. I'm involved in a few network marketing organizations myself and I've seen firsthand the amazing opportunities the industry provides. And she's known as the millionaire maker. Robert Kiyosaki said, if I have it to do all over again, rather than build an old style type business, I would have started building a network marketing business. So literally you can get started in America. You know, this is valued at over $300, the starter kit. Costs you $165, a little bit more in Canadian. And it's whatever the currency is, it's averaged out around the world to that basic price for what's it's worth. And it brings you all these things we talked about, some samples of the thieves. You get 12 oils, you get the Ningxia a drink to try out, you get your diffuser and you're in business. You get a catalog, you get information, you start to be on their newsletter list, you get put into our um, uh, downline. We, we have these weekly calls. We put you, uh, make you, make, make available to you that you can get in. And these are all just these oils that you get that they do all these things. They support the lungs. If you, Raven, I had a person that has asthma. Their asthma has been helped by this. Digize, support your digestion. I had food poisoning a couple of weeks ago. Put Digize on my stomach, really helped a lot. Frankincense is great to support your meditation. Citrus fresh, you all know how fresh citrus smells. We put it in our kitchens and a lot of the cleaners they use. Valor, 
liquid courage, we call it. Uh, peppermint, we talked about earlier. Panaway for joint and muscle support. If you've got muscle strains or pains, et cetera. Lavender, put it on my skin every night for sleep. Thieves, we've talked about a lot. Stress away, helps calm you, peace and calming as well. So these are the core essential oils you want to have. And if, you, if it were me and you're signing up, I would get joy as well. We talked about joy rubbing on your heart. It really opens up the heart space. And you get a diffuser. You start diffusing this into your room. I have one just like this sitting next to my computer off to my right as we're doing this. So Thieves Line, all these things for cleaning. They're non-toxic. They clean better than most things. We have something called the Feelings Kit. We're doing a 30-day emotional reset several times a year where you, for 30 days, you take these oils, you rub them on certain parts of your body, and you literally start to remove and release feelings that have been stuck in you, anger, resentment, guilt, shame. It's, that, it's really quite transformational. And if you add joy and highest potential and these other oils that you can use as well, uh, you can even increase that, which my wife and I do. So I wanna start bringing this to a close. I want you to do something. I wanna talk about the, the, the opportunity and taking advantage of it. So I want you to, if you can see my picture, fold your hands like this and notice which thumb you have on top. And then what I'd like you to do is unfold your hands and then fold them again. Notice which thumb you have on top. And it's probably the same one. This is called a habit. We do the same thing all the time. You know, you can live in a town with a thousand restaurants. You go to the same 10 or 12 restaurants. You order the same four or five meals, the same drinks. We are creatures of habit. And some of those habits serve us. However, what I want you to do is now fold your hands again. Notice which thumb's on top, same thumb. But this time, unfold your hands and move all the fingers up a notch so the other thumb's on top. Don't just move the thumbs, but move all your fingers so the other thumb's on top. How does that feel? And more than likely, if you're like everyone that's ever been in a live seminar, you're saying awkward, uncomfortable, I don't like it, it feels yucky, it feels strange. What does your body want to do? It wants it to go back to the other way. So let it do that. That feels comfortable, right? And this, my friends, is why most people never succeed in achieving outstanding, incredible, happy, fulfilling, wealthy, healthy lives. And the reason for that is they're unwilling to be uncomfortable. So basically, to do something you've never done before, whether it's to use the oils, whether it's to take advantage of the business opportunity, could feel uncomfortable. But I want you to realize that everything that you don't have that you want is just outside your comfort zone. You have to be willing to take the risk and jump out of the comfort zone. And I love this. You have to take the leap. You have to take the leap. And so Robert Kiyosaki said, most people never get wealthy simply because they're not trained to recognize opportunities right in front of them. So today you have an opportunity to take the first step in faith, as Martin Luther King said. You don't have to see the whole staircase. You don't have to know everything you need to do. Just take the step. Trust, my, trust me, trust Raymond, take the first step now and get involved. And I wanna end with a poem that we published in the first Chicken Soup for the Soul book. It's called Risk by Ronald R. Cabajal. And he wrote, to laugh is to risk appearing the fool. To weep is to risk appearing sentimental. To reach out to another is to risk involvement. To expose your true feeling is to risk exposing your true self. To place your ideas, your dreams before the crowd is to risk their loss. To live is to risk dying. To love is to risk not being loved in return. To hope is to risk despair. To try is to risk failure. Risk must be taken if you truly desire success and happiness. The greatest sadness in life is to risk nothing. The person who risks nothing, has nothing, becomes nothing. By avoiding risk, you may avoid suffering and sorrow, but you cannot find true love, experience inner freedom, enjoy lasting peace, or discover the joy of happiness, unless you are willing to take risks. Or so if you wonder if it's worth taking risks or not, the only way to find out is by taking them. So this cartoon says, oh crap, was that today? And Raymond and I don't want you to miss the boat. Make sure you're on board to create the healthy and wealthy life of your dreams. And you can do that simply by going to www.aaron.com forward slash oils. And when you get there, it'll tell you what to do. And we'll contact you and get you enrolled We'll get you on a new path toward greater wellness, non-toxic living, greater health, 
greater financial abundance, greater sense of fulfillment. So thank you for watching and listening. I really appreciate it. If you hadn't enrolled me last night, I would have enrolled right now. <laughs> that, was, that was a dazzling, dazzling presentation. Thank you. I'm honored to have joined into this Young Living adventure with you. And I know that you and I are like tearing it up and helping lots and lots of people. I'm honored to be in partnership with you as I have been in many other ventures this lifetime. You and I have done several things together and now this is a new adventure we're doing together and we'll be successful at it. But more important, we'll help you be successful in having a healthier home and body, healthier emotions, and if you wish, a uh, much healthier residual income. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aaron.com slash oils. Wow, wow, wow. I am so glad that Jack Canfield and I have teamed up to introduce you to this amazing opportunity, to this amazing company, to these amazing products. The whole thing is such a wow and such a blessing in my life and such a blessing in so many lives that Jack Hanfield and I are introducing this to. You may wish to be a business builder. You may wish to be a customer, at least at the beginning, and then maybe enroll people later if you wish. Or you may just want to have some more questions answered. And so when you go to Aaron.com slash oils, there'll be three buttons. And I just want to tell you in advance. The first button says, yes, I want to be a business builder. Have someone call me. And we will. And then the second button says, yes, I want to be a customer. Have someone call me. And this is the button you choose if you just want to sample the products and maybe be a customer forever. Or maybe you want to be a customer until you feel good about the products and then tell some friends about it. But you just want to start as a customer. And that's wonderful. 88%, even 95% are just customers, and we love customers. And then the third button is, I have some questions. Please have someone call me. And we will. We'll take very, very good care of you. We're very respectful. Everyone who calls you is a leader in Young Living and knows what it's like to just get started and is happy to answer all of your questions. So let's get started right now. Do it right now. Thank you.